Hello, everybody, and welcome back again to All Things Parks. This is our final installment of the Magic Kingdom Must Seize. And so our last land that you have to explore is going to be... Tomorrowland! The land of the future and tomorrow. Yes. Um, so, you know, Tom Morrow 2.0 is usually being summoned around the land if you listen closely. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a lot to do and see yes. in this land. And so, you know, we'll, we'll kind of take it again. Mm -hmm. where we're, we left off of Fantasyland. Let's start over in the back there. Right. Where our, you know, we got an eatery and we got an attraction. Yeah. So start let's start with the, with the attraction. Yeah. Let's so you start don't want to get sick on the attraction. Well, you're not going to get sick on this attraction, <laughs> yeah. folks. Yeah. So we have Tomorrowland Speedway, mm -hmm. which is a race car. It is a race right? car. Yeah. Okay. It's a race car. And I personally enjoy this ride because I really like the views that you get to see while you're going way back through. Mm -hmm. And you can see Space Mountain really cool as well as the Contemporary. Yeah. So that's why I enjoy it. I know you're not the biggest fan because the car goes about four miles <sighs> per hour. Yeah, it's a snail. It's a snail stale. It's a stale yeah. snail pal. Yeah. Um, turtle racing. Yeah, pretty much turtle racing. I mean, it's, like you said, good views. Yeah. You get a cool, cool views of Space Mountain that you're mm -hmm. not going to get anywhere else. You get some views of Bay Lake Tower and Contemporary yes. that you're not going to get anywhere. And so, yes, for that reason, check it out. But if you're, again, looking for that thrill of maybe, you know, some, oh, they got, like, if you see Tomorrowland Speedway, oh, they got, like, go-karts or something. No, it is not, it is not go-karts. It is it's what uh, I, I don't know what it is, really. I mean, it's your you're typical off. ride, like, at an amusement park that's... You know, it's got the metal thing and then yeah, the, the car, rails, so you yeah. can't jump it. Right. Just, I mean, the the craziest thing you can do really is bump into the person in front of you and don't that, do that. Yeah, that's, that's really, that's you're going to hurt mean. their back. Yeah. They got a lot of walking exactly. left to do. Right. We don't want to see any chiropractors on our vacation. Yeah. Not at all. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, so this ride, it, it does get some high wait times. It does. It does. And it's all outdoors. So again, in mm -hmm. that summer heat, it's going to be blazing on you. Definitely. Um, so sunscreen up. Yeah. And if there is a long wait, I would just suggest not going on it. That's correct. <laughs> but it is, I mean, kids do like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, you get to sit in, in the cockpit seat while right. you're, while you're, you know, guardian or mm -hmm. parent or older brother or sibling or whoever is driving, yeah. drives it. Um, a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope not. Um, but anyways, yeah, I mean, it, it's again, a, a cool experience for the kid. Um, personally, I don't really understand how this ride was put in this land to start with because... It's not very futuristic. It was never futuristic. Like, I can mm -hmm. understand some of the rides now, yes. You know, back in the 70s, mm -hmm. they were futuristic Correct. for sure. But I don't, I just don't see how this one ever was. It just snuck in there and it's staying. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. There are rumors yes. that this little ride of of ours could be on its last leg. You know, it, it might be... last wheel. Mass, last lap. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. It. So much fun to play with words. Anyways, uh, there's... I'm done talking about this ride. Yeah, I'm just saying, there's some rumors <laughs> that a new ride might be coming in, but I agree. Let's let's move on. Let's okay, so now much. you're hungry, and you're going to go to Cosmic Rays, because if you're in Tomorrowland and you're wanting to eat, this is where you're going. Yes, it is. Um, really cool, actually. It's three different bays, so you mm -hmm. have like a salad one, which I know you probably want to talk about. A salad bay? No. Because I mean, you like to refill salads. your salad. No, but that's the condiment bar. <laughs> There's a big difference. Come on, man. Okay. Know your food. And then you have like your burgers and stuff. And then a chicken and then, like, station. Chicken station. Yeah. So it's salad, burgers, chicken, and then, as I always like to do at either here or Pecos Bill, is make my own little salad <laughs> at the condiment <laughs> station. So you could, you know, finish your mm -hmm. burger, or your chicken, or even your salad, and then go up to the condiment yes. bar and make another one. So you mm -hmm. got your shredded lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, yes. onions, grilled onions, uh, mustard, because who doesn't love a, a little must, I mean, mustard uh, dressing? dressing? Yeah, that's my dressing of choice. It sure is mine. 
You get a little olive oil and some mustard and, and you spin it up. after you have that, you can take your condiment salad to the balcony and it overlooks the castle. Not mm -hmm. a great place to watch the fireworks because there is an overhead thing, so it blocks that. Yeah. But personally, at Christmas time, I like to watch the castle start getting lit up with the icicles. Yeah, yeah. ice storm. Um, um, that's a good show to watch from this yeah. balcony because right. it's just the view of the castle. Even the projection show mm -hmm. that happens every night, so it yes. doesn't have to just be Christmas. But so they have that projection show on the castle, which is it's a good place to mm -hmm. watch that because again, it's not going to be very crowded there. Right. Whereas you know Main Street USA is going to be packed mm -hmm. in that hub area. But right here, it's usually that that patio is kind of open to you, mm -hmm. uh, and so you can do as you please out there. Yeah. And if uh, you want to dine inside, yeah. Cosmic Ray is a great pianist. He is quite the pianist, and, and he'll so sing to you about all the planets. And, and Saturn and Jupiter yeah. and Mars and Uranus, the other planets that I won't list all of them, but you know what they are. Um, but yeah, so cool atmosphere for the kids mm -hmm. down there. They have little dance parties in there, mm -hmm. um, and so you can work off that that chicken sandwich. If yeah. if walking isn't going to do it for you, you need a, a little extra little extra calisthenics in there and get you dance on. Woo! But all next right. to there, so now we have mm -hmm. our ice cream. Little, we got a little ice cream yes. station, a uh, little merchandise mart mm -hmm. for all of your futuristic travel needs. Correct. Um, and then, what used to be the most scary ride in Woo! the world? Thank God it's not there anymore. I know. Now because, it's Stitch's Great Escape. Yeah, so, we used to be Alien Encounter. Oh yeah. Now it's Stitch's Great Escape, just like you said. Um, I pooped myself the first time. It's scary. Alien Encounter was scary. I was about 12, you were 8, I think, somewhere in that range, uh, and um, it was not it, friendly. Like, that wasn't enjoyable. No, I was scared. I mean, I was kind of a scaredy cat, but I feel like a lot oh, of other people were scared, too, so no, I didn't feel that Basically, out. this, like, red alien guy came. No, he wasn't red. Uh, I'm just picturing, like, Darth Maul. But oh, it no, wasn't Darth was, Maul. No, it was definitely not Darth Maul. <laughs> not at but all. But this scary alien was in this big tube, and then he put all the lights out. So it's all yeah. audio as well as, like, you smell and feel things. Like, you, they spit on it, so it was like he's breathing and stuff on you. Yeah. And, and your harness comes on your shoulders, and it, like, bounces down right. on you. It's like he's jumping on your back. Ugh. It's just like, get him out of here! And you can't see anything. It's pitch black. You literally cannot see anything. Yeah. But now it's Stitch, and it's, it's kind the of the same, same right, yeah. same premise, um, same template mm -hmm. where, you know, he cuts out, he shorts the circuit, the lights go out, he, like, spits on you, slobbers mm -hmm. on you, like, And there's around. a gross smell, like, yeah. he does something, it smells really bad. Yeah, does he fart? Something. Or burps, maybe, maybe I don't burps. know, something yeah, like that, know. but, um... It's it's seasonal mm -hmm. right now. Uh, again, there's rumors that this might be going out for a Wreck It Ralph attraction, which I would personally enjoy. I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah. But you know, if if yeah. it's open and, and you feel like seeing Stitch, if you're a big Stitch fan, yes. head on it. It's not as scary now, mm -hmm. but it is going to be dark, and it is going to be you know you're going to be locked in that harness, mm -hmm. and so yeah. And for all the Stitch fans, I do recommend this because there's not much Stitch stuff going yeah, on really unless isn't. you're out over at the Poly. Yeah. Polynesian has some stuff, um, but I think. Lilo and Stitch is one of the most underrated Disney I movies. Agree. I'm Great a huge, soundtrack. huge fan of this movie. For sure. So if you are a Stitch fan, check this one out because there's not much Stitch stuff going on. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, and so across the way yes. is uh, a little bit of their their Pixar section. Yes. I would say. So we yeah. got a couple of Pixar inspired rides. Um, the first one is going to be Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is like. You know, it, it's not one of my favorite attractions, but I do understand why some people like yeah, it. Yeah, so I enjoy it. It's, it's an interactive comedy show is pretty much mm -hmm. what it is. So, obviously, as you know, laughs are worth more energy than screams now, uh, which was which was figured out. And if you haven't seen the, the movie, spoiler alert, sorry, but get with the times, yeah. bro. Um, but anyway, so they have a comedy show mm -hmm. um, where, you know, Mike is the host. Yes. And he'll pick out people in the audience and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of make fun of them a little bit yeah you know, it's all friendly fun so yeah. don't be getting so yeah. sensitive you it's just, not gonna be yeah. crazy you need to just make the crowd laugh so that you can fill the tube with enough juice, juice. back to that juice yeah yeah so it is cool and they use the uh you know there's someone either up in the rafters or behind the screen or whatever that's kind of projecting their voice through right. the alien and so you know they'll pick out hey that woman in the white shirt with the musketeer hat on it uh you know, tell us where you're from and, and tell us a joke and, and make us laugh, that type of yeah. thing. So they'll put you on the spot, so be ready. Yeah. You know, if you go in there, have some have some uh, material written out because yes. you're gonna you're gonna need it possibly. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You can be the star of the show. Ooh, I like being the star. What, what? Um, and so the other Pixar-inspired mm-hmm. attraction, which is one of my favorite attractions right. um, in Tomorrowland, there's mm-hmm. two attractions that I enjoy most. Well, actually three that I like. Um, but So this is one of them, a uh, Star Ranger spin. Yes. Goes right here. And um, I have my alien mug. And again, Ooh, video games. Fireworks. I love video games. Yes. So this is a, your your big video game where you get to sit in a, a two person cart, shoot our Zerg lasers yes. or Zerg you targets. Have to battle the evil Emperor Zerg. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, it's really cool. Walking through the queue line, you start to feel like you're actually part of this world, and Buzz is there getting you ready to be Star Commander. He is, and. In order to be Star Commander Galaxy Hero, you got to get all nines, and that's where I come into play. Except I did that before you ever did that, so yeah, I technically went. No, I do it all the time, so no biggie. Anyways, um, there are certain targets that are worth more yes. points. If you hit, you got to hit the middle. You got to aim. You got to mm-hmm. be able to aim in there. So if you hit the middle on a consistent basis, you're going to pile up those nines across the board. And so mm-hmm. the top score is nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. And um, it just feels good when you get there, let me tell you. Yeah, but if you ever ride this ride with Andrew and you touch his joystick... That's a no-no. I am the captain now. (laughs) (laughs) And always. Now and always, I will be the captain. So he knows all of the Z bullets to hit that will help get you... And if you want to know... You can just search it on YouTube or, or Google that, and uh, they'll tell you real quickly what to do. And then don't tell your friend that you're riding with, and uh, beat them. You can beat them up real good. <laughs> yeah, and then when you exit that ride, there's a little gift shop, uh, mm-hmm. and then you can also meet Buzz. So you a little sure meet can. and greet there for you. And then also, I really like the center. They like right outside the line queue. They have a center little the launching pad. Stand. And it's all the little aliens getting picked up by the claw, so that makes, like, the roof. Mm -hmm. And just some merchandise. They have some woody stuff. Yeah, so a little quick service there. Like I said, it's called the Lunching Pad. They have, like, burger, or I'm sorry, not burgers, but, like, hot dog, like, kind Mm -hmm. of ballpark food, your cotton candy and uh, popcorn. And then they have, like, slushies and things. So never eaten there, but, you know, if if you're looking for something real quick, um, Mm -hmm. that's your your joint. Yeah. For sure. And then uh, against that back wall. Mm-hmm. Is another one of the classics. Very classic. So from one, World's Fair. Yeah, one of the rides that Walt actually himself worked on. So mm-hmm. it's it's a must do. And it's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. So if you haven't guessed it by now, we're talking about the great and wonderful carousel of progress. Indeed. And so, yeah, this is going to be, you know, kind of like your circle theater where the theater stands still, but the seats move. How ominous. Um, So there's different scenes, I I believe like six different scenes where it takes you from, you know, early 1900 America to today as far as kind of really going with the the way the technology has increased. So, you know, starting off with the heater and the air conditioner Mm -hmm. and the the ice box and things like that and progressing into, you know, the radio and the television and then progressing into, well, newspaper would be before Mm -hmm. that. And so all of just the the different kinds of communication throughout the the history of Mm -hmm. the last pretty much 120, 130 years. Right, right. And it was interesting. A lot of females were getting a little disappointed in the what did that be called monologue dialogue dialogue of the characters of this because it was demeaning towards women how men used to talk to women so they actually have changed some of those voiceovers to make it more acceptable for all being a little historically correct well right it's just to learn about history i'm not saying it was right to change i'm just just saying letting the viewers know that it's not the original dialogue right um and so i've actually heard rumors also that's um, for the 50th anniversary, they might be up doing or redoing that final scene. So the final mm, scene yeah. is supposed to be in the future, and pretty much everything that's in there right now is already it's starting happened. to be the past. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Like they got the big box, big screen TVs mm-hmm. that are like if you have one of those anymore, you're kind of living in in the yesteryear. Um, but so I've heard that they're going to updo. Um, upkeep that a little bit yes. and renovate that uh, to to a little bit more futuristic but mm-hmm. so we'll see you never we'll know see. Uh, they did just get a brand new paint job on the outside so Woo! that's nice yeah looking fresh yeah it looks 
looks real pristine. Yes. Um, so yeah, check that out. A good. It's not going to have a line. If you're looking, you know, to to cool down a little bit in the AC, mm -hmm. you're looking to just walk into some place. This is the place to do it yeah. in Tomorrowland, without a doubt. Definitely. Um, and so right across it is going to be a couple of rides in that center. Ooh. So the launching pad actually not only serves as a food station, but also has two attractions along with it. Mm -hmm. And so um, the one is one of another one of my favorites. It's just a relaxing little yes. attraction. Yes, I think this is actually my favorite <laughs> in Tomorrowland. Wow, that's yeah. bold. That I mean, let's. It's good, but let's not get carried away. I'm saying it. People mover. People mover. The moving webway. People. It is moving people. It is. So it's little... By magnets. Yes, by magnets. How um, futuristic. Yeah. So you just go through Tomorrowland in this little car. People mover. People mover. Yeah. And a people mover. It's a move of people. It's really cool, though. You go in through the rides. Great views of the castle. I always love going through the Space Mountain section. That's my favorite. Yeah, I do, too. It and you, it's just an awesome ride. It is. I mean, it's nice and relaxing. It, it goes throughout the pretty much the entire perimeter of Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get to see all the attractions that yeah. we just discussed. Um, like Erica said, you get to see inside of Space Mountain a little bit. Get to see inside of Buzz Lightyear. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, you know, like a few little scenes in there that you wouldn't even be able to see unless you went on the ride. Right. So it's cool. Like, it, it maps out, you know, Walt's dream for what Epcot was going to be as mm -hmm. far as an, an actual community of tomorrow. So it's really cool to see, you know, the early renditions and early models of, of right. what he had imagined and mm -hmm. so um definitely a cool ride yeah, to check out definitely. very relaxing usually mm -hmm. not a long line yeah um, and it does offer a different view of tomorrow lane because you are up above mm -hmm. and so you're exactly looking down onto tomorrow right lane. and speaking of up above if you want to go even higher Woo! you can take the elevator up to astro orbiter so mm -hmm. you get off people mover just to your left you'll see that there is going to be another cube line that is going to be then leading to that elevator. And it's kind of your Dumbo and Aladdin right. uh, magic carpets with Aladdin type ride. Mm -hmm. Same thing. But, um, but higher. But, yeah, three stories up. So it's really cool, um, especially at night. So mm -hmm. I went up there at night one time, and the views that you get of Grand Floridian, Polynesian, yes. Bay Lake, Contemporary, and then, you know, you get to see Main Street lit mm -hmm. up and obviously the castle lit up. Yeah. It's really cool at night, without yeah. a doubt. Awesome. Yeah. Check it out. I definitely would check it out for sure. And it's, I mean, it's fun for the kids. The kids yeah, love it. Definitely. Who doesn't, who yeah. doesn't love it? And, and then so, the if last you one. want to continue to be an astronaut, you can head over to the final mountain. The final mountain. Space mountain. The last frontier. Not in frontier land. No. But That'd space. Cool. Space. They call it the final frontier. Oh, you know? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. For sure. <gasps> Totes, my bad. Totes. All right, so here is our our big winner in Tomorrowland as far as, you know, your your e ticket attraction, uh, to use to use the, the terminology from the, the early years. Um, definitely wanna get a fast pass for this, or mm -hmm. at least I do. Uh, I'm not sure if you do, but I would like to get a fast pass for this. This is probably my favorite ride at Magic Kingdom. Um, and so it's just your classic dark yeah. ride coaster. Yeah. And it's good stuff. I think my all-time favorite part of Space Mountain is the music. Yes. It's amazing when you're walking in. It's like you're in a whole new world. Mm -hmm. But you're not in anything like Aladdin that no. just came out. It's and right. then you just board your little rocket ship. And then throughout the ride, there's more sound effects and noises yeah. to make you feel like you're going faster right. than you are. Like, make the sound. You're better. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah. Is pretty much awesome. how I would say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it is cool. Um, in the queue line, they redid that a, a little while ago, and so there's more video games in there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you can kind of collect trash and blast different things, and it's cool because it's like 10 across, and you get to compete against the other people yeah. in line. Um, just but to, yeah, don't be inconsiderate yeah, with this that's line, That's what I was going to say. If, if you got a bunch of space in front of you and a new game's about to start, fill in the space. Yeah. Like, don't. I can understand being a gamer. You don't want to leave the game that you're currently in. Right. I will allow that. Mm -hmm. You They're finish quick your games, game. They though. are. They're about 20 seconds, I think, yeah. or 30 seconds. So I'm fine with that. Plus, I mean, what's the big deal? You just fill in more space in front of you. You're going to wait there anyways. Right. But let's let's keep the line moving. Right, right. And there could be people waiting outside still that uh, want to get in. So hot. So just move on. But yeah, so it's just, you know, this queue line is pretty much all indoors. Um, 
real cool space mm-hmm. sound effects. Yeah, um, the it. ride itself. I like sitting in the back personally because in the front, so there's a little bit of ambient light, so mm-hmm. you can kind of see where the track is, but kind of not. But if you sit in the back, you have no idea no what's coming idea. up. And there's like different drops, Ooh. and like you'll think that it's going to drop, and then you take a hard right turn, oh. and you. This is one where if you have back pain, probably don't go on it. Caution. Caution. Also, to the if you have long arms, don't do this or this. Yeah. Because hands, arms, and feet inside the vehicle at all times on this one. The track just appears as though it's going to chop your arm off. There has to be enough clearance. Um, yeah, I'm there pretty sure there's clearance. But, but it doesn't feel know. like it when you're there. Well, right, because, I mean, when the ride was made, you know, people weren't really six, 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 seven like they are now. Not that there's a whole lot of those people, but I went there with a six, seven kid, and I was, like, like, chopped off. I was like... Uh, Liam, keep your hands tucked into your armpits at all times <laughs> throughout the flight. Yeah, no, it is really like the track above you does seem like it's right there. Mm-hmm. So just, just for our yeah, own, I even like duck like, down. So we feel I do one of these. Yeah. yeah, but it's still fun, even yeah. if you're scrunched up in a little ball in your seat. I still enjoy it. Yeah, it is fun when you're right, not seeing the track because you just do these dips and mm-hmm. you have no idea, and then you think a dip's coming, but like he you said, you're just gonna turn. Yeah, so. and then it ends with a long dip, and yeah. you're just like, "This Whoa. was awesome." Yeah. Yeah. So leaving that, you get your another one of your merchandise huts. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the the typical Disney way, yeah. just sending you off off the ride into the souvenir shop and. Mm-hmm. Uh, all your all your space yeah. needs again here. So right, there's a few misters when you get outside right there. If you mm-hmm. want to cool down. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I think that pretty much that wraps does. up. Actually, no, it doesn't. We forgot one thing. You tell me. The Tomorrowland Terrace. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, the for Tomorrowland the show. Terrace. Yeah. It's where you get all your desserts. Yeah. So it is. A, they do have food there, but it mm-hmm. is seasonal, so they don't always have food there. Um, but they do run a fireworks dessert show from Tomorrowland Terrace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, if you like ice cream and you like fireworks, why not pair up the two? There you go. All um, you can eat. Yeah, you, all you can eat. All you care to eat, cream. And who doesn't like cream? Just bring a few shots of insulin. Yes, definitely be <laughs> sure to do so. But yeah, so it's a cool way to, mm-hmm. to watch the fireworks. a nice little show that or event that they have planned there to where, again, you get the view of the fireworks over the castle yeah. and it's a little bit more relaxing where you're not yes. standing you know shoulder to shoulder on main mm-hmm. street with people sweating on you and stuff right. like that people are going to be doing the opposite of sweating because they're eating ice cold yes. ice cream so additionally if you are trying to beat the crowds getting to or from Tomorrowland, you can cut through this way right past the plaza on main street mm-hmm. and it's a good cut through instead of going all the way around to the actual entrance of tomorrowland right and then there's a bathroom there too because we you were never talking know. about well, bathrooms. Yeah, it's it's important to know where bathrooms I are i mean yeah gee willikers yep um so yeah you know that that's tomorrowland in a nutshell Woo. um and that like i said that wraps up magic kingdom yeah man it flew wow. by holy cow i know and now we got three more parks to explore so Definitely make sure that you join us for the next episode. I, I believe we're going to be taking the monorail to Epcot. Mm-hmm. And so we'll be breaking yeah. down what Epcot has to offer. So Just massage stay your tuned. feet a little because we got more walking to do. Yes, we do. Get, get a good stretch. Get hydrated. Reapply that sunscreen. And we will see you next time on All Things Parks. Thanks for joining in. Bye.